Well, it's another very warm welcome back, all my vintage dirt bike loving YouTubers, and thanks once again to all of you for your continuing support of my classic dirt bike video channel as we head towards the 10,000 subscriber total. Now, in this next video, we are going to take a brief look at another British motorcycle manufacturer that may or may not be familiar to all of my YouTube viewers, but nevertheless, they were still an important part of British motorcycle manufacturing in the 1960s. So I hope you'll stick around with me for the next few minutes as we take a look at some classic British dot off-roaders. Now these first few examples that we see here were on display on the dot motorcycle club stand at the 2019 Telford Classic Dirt Bike Show where they had some lovely models of these old dots from back in the day. Now the Dot Motorcycle Company was originally founded by Harry Reid in Manchester, England who built the company's first motorcycle way back in 1906. Now the name Dot was said to be an abbreviation of Devoid of Trouble which was a very bold statement for what was a relatively simple designed motorbike with a decent chassis and two-stroke engine. Now the Dot uh, manufacturing company made almost everything from street bikes to three-wheeled utility machines but uh, when the motocross boom began in the early 1960s Dot tried extremely hard to be a player in what was then known as British scrambling. But Dot had originally specialised in two-stroke machines and by the late 1950s and 1960s Dot was one of the five British companies putting together competitive two-stroke scrambler machines with the other companies of course being Villiers, James, uh, Cotton and of course Greaves and up until the early 1960s all of these companies used Villiers engines. But one of Dot's more popular models was the uh, lovely 250 Dot Demon which was a good little bike and it was well designed and meticulously put together although it never really won any major championships although it was a runner-up on a few occasions. Now these Dot Scramblers of course had an alloy fuel tank and those uh, quite radical leading link front forks which had very long dampers but uh, back in its day it was a very unique design for an off-road bike but by all accounts it worked reasonably well. Now the steel frame on these bikes had a square section front down tube and the front and rear fenders were also made from aluminium. But compared to its competitors like the Greaves and Cotton race bikes, these dots were much lighter and some would say much nicer looking than other British scramblers. Although at first glance they certainly appear to have that look and charisma that you only get from an old 1960s British made off-road bike. Now of course almost all of these old dot motorcycles use these Villiers two-stroke engines up until the late 1960s when eventually uh, Villiers stopped supplying its motors to other manufacturers and uh, Dot had to then find a new power plant for their motorcycles. But it has to be said that these Villiers engines were not the most powerful on the planet but were uh, reasonably reliable if you looked after them and they were certainly quick enough if everything was working as it should and uh, Villiers supplied a variety of these motors to suit not only Dot Scramblers but many Dot's road bikes as well. Although the Dot Motorcycle Club who had this selection on display at the 2019 Telford show had some very nice spikes covering many of the golden years that the company enjoyed in their scrambling heydays of the 1960s. 
Now Dump Motorcycles were also renowned for building some excellent trials machines which were also extremely light and powered again by Villiers engines. Now the Dot Motorcycle Club also had this machine on their stand. Now it's uh, almost definitely an old Dot motorcycle although I know absolutely nothing at all about this bike other than it looks like an original old machine. So maybe a few of my more knowledgeable YouTubers could recognize it and could possibly fill in some details about this bike in the video comments section at the bottom of the page. Now our next Dot Scrambler is a bike that I captured several years ago at a Bikes in the Park Classic Motorcycle Rally in Beveridge Park Kirkcaldy in Fife. Now I'm in guessing mode here again, I think this could be a late 1950s bike or maybe even an early 1960s machine, I'm uh, not really sure but as you can see the owner has done a fantastic restoration on this little bike. And actually in the background of this shot you can see that lovely little uh, dot uh, road bike uh, which looks like it's been fully restored. Although you have to say there's certainly something about these old British machines with their lovely steel frames, polished alloy tanks and the use of aluminium for the front and rear mudguards. Now they even used alloy number plates as uh, this naturally was before plastic ruled the world but uh, then again I'm old school and uh, just love my alloy and steel classic racers. But yet again another Villiers motor powering this lovely little bike and uh, the chances are that this engine has been through the same restoration process as the rest of the bike. Now a surefire dot motorcycles trademark here with these leading link front forks, uh, drum brakes and those extremely long front uh, dampers. But this is a restoration of the highest order and the owner or bike builder that did the renovation on this bike can justifiably be proud of the finished article. Now our final uh, dot race bike that we're going to look at is this uh, battle scarred racer belonging to Mike Walker. Now this particular bike is a 1962 250 and uh, Mike told me that he bought this bike second hand many years ago when he was only 14 years old and he's owned and raced the bike ever since. Now Mike's machine, as you'd expect, is not fully original uh, now that it's heading for almost 60 years old but it still has all the important parts fitted like the alloy tank and the alloy front and rear mudguards. Now Mike's little 250 has another variation of the Villiers two-stroke motor although the old original exhaust and tailpipe have been changed for a newer type expansion chamber. And you can also see that Mike has uh, kept the old Amol monoblock carburetor on his bike which is quite rare to have one of these still fitted to an old uh, British bike as many tend to go for the better Amol uh, concentric equivalent. But the front suspension on these dot scramblers was not the best, although having said that you have to remember that this was the late 1950s and early 1960s technology and it was universally accepted as being functional for its purpose at that time. Now stopping power for these little 250 dots as you'd expect for the time was by these drum brakes which were decent enough because uh, after all these dot motorcycles were very light machines and these drum brakes were good enough to slow you up for a turn or bring you to a complete stop eventually. Now the rear brake setup again was adequate for the overall weight of the bike that it was trying to stop and I expect these machines could have been made even lighter 
if they'd used uh, alloy wheels instead of these steel rims. Now, as I mentioned, no plastic at all on these old vintage racers, just uh, copious amounts of steel and alloy, which almost all motorcycles from this era were made. Now, you can see evidence here of more weight saving by removing excess metal from this rear uh, drive sprocket. But despite these Villiers motors being old technology, they were still good little power plants and were used in a multitude of different configurations in road bikes, trials bikes, and they were even popular as go-kart engines. But don't let the race-battered looks of Mike's machine fool you, because I've seen this little bike in action on the track and it's a quick, unflickable uh, racer. Okay, maybe it's not going to win any concourse or shiniest bike of the year awards anytime soon, but for an old machine that's heading for 60 years old and still being used as a racer, then you have to applaud the owner for his commitment. But these dot scramblers are very rare items indeed, and uh, they can be seen as museum pieces or nicely restored examples in private collections that are uh, only brought out at classic bike gatherings or vintage shows. But I'll wager you'd be very hard pressed to see one taking part in any kind of scrambles racing in this modern day. So I hope you enjoyed this one or two examples of these dot scramblers. And thanks again for watching Classic Dirt Bike TV. This video was brought to you in association with Wealth Sport, the world's number one supplier for all your off-road, sports and leisure wear. Just visit their online website at wealthsport.com for more details.